So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. He was a monster to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. Now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. But you force yourself to keep smiling, as you so often did before. First, thou shalt not drink the blood of thinking creatures. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. What's this? What's happening? Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At the heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down. Not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. There you are, my friend. <laughs> Are you now? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep, darling. <laughs> you sleep light. I thought you'd be exhausted after last night. Uh, you sleep light. <laughs> I thought you'd be exhausted. <laughs> I was holding back a little, it's true. I didn't want to lose control. Delicious as you were, I didn't want to go too far. Now, shall we get on? I want to go before anyone else thanks me for saving their tails. I was holding back a little, it's true. I didn't want to lose control. Now, shall we head back? We should try to get some rest before the sun comes up. It's a poem, a gift from Cazador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. It's a poem, a gift from Cazador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. Infernal? I... Who knows? The bastard was insane. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess. Anyway, Let's get back to camp and our bedrolls. We should try to get some rest tonight. So, I was wondering if maybe, perhaps, you might be able to, uh... Can you read what's on my damn back? Please. Thank you. The jagged script is definitely infernal. What in the hells? What did he do to me? Hmm. 
No. What did you do? Oh, it's everywhere. You ruined a perfectly good snack. Come on, come on. What are you hiding? Can you summon the dead? Bring them back? Can you... Oh, can you shut up and let me read? No, I won't kill them. Well, maybe Shadowheart. I can't. I won't. No, stop! Let me go! Ah, hello. How about if I said these little words? Everyone's favorite. I love you. Well, well. Excuse me, will I die of a broken heart? <laughs> In all honesty, it's a shame. That time was special to me. I've gotten on my back 10,000 times or more and forgotten half of them. <laughs> but you... You, I'll remember. Have a fine evening. Dear. I hear you found a new lover. So, will you dedicate yourself entirely to your new true love? Is this the end of our late night trysts? Even though they were an awful lot of fun. What? Why? I mean, <laughs> obviously I can understand why. We've had a lot of fun together. But I thought you had something more with Lazel. We... We could try. If that's truly what you want. Well, darling, in that case, consider yourself well and truly taken. You know, this has been a surprisingly delightful conversation. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's still a no, I'm afraid. How very disappointing. Thank you. I appreciated that. It's a novel concept, I admit. And, uh, a little intimidating. It would have been so easy to bite her. To just go along with what I was being told to do. A moment of disgust to force myself through, and then I could have carried on just like before. The entire reason for my existence was to seduce anything with a pulse. And every instinct I have tells me that nothing's changed. I'm still just a means to an end. You made me see that I never stopped thinking like I was his slave. <sighs> Even in freedom. But I'm more than that. More than a thing to be used. I spent 200 years using my body to lure pretty things back for my master. What I wanted, how I felt about what I was doing, it never mattered. You could have asked me to do the same. To throw myself at her. What I wanted, be damned. But you didn't. And I'm grateful. I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. What? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What do you see? I think you may be overestimating his willingness to share. He may seem like the carefree hedonist, but there's something fragile beneath the facade. If you can give him the solace that I'm convinced he desperately needs, then it would just be cruel for me to try and elbow in. Liable to end in tears, or blood, or both. You... 
You're full of surprises, aren't you? Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> or what comes next. They say that the only thing a vampire can feel is hunger. Nothing else touches them. Not grief or mercy. Or any sense of what is just. Who knows? There is often more ignorance than insight in what they say. I want us... to be something real. You don't know what it was like. There was no way out. Once, in the first decade of my slavery, I found a darling boy who I couldn't bear to bring back to him, so... I ran, instead of hurting that sweet man. After Cazador caught me, the bastard sealed me, starving, inside a dusty tomb all on my own for an entire year. A year of silence. Months of scratching my hands raw, trying to carve my way out. More months of not moving at all. Months wishing only for death. He is so afraid. So, so afraid of everyone. Besides you, who he ought to fear most. Well, hello. Looking for a cuddle? Although, you don't look entirely... yourself. Easy now, darling. You've got this. And I've got you. You know, I didn't realize you and I were so alike. I... I felt... Paralyzed to do anything about Cazador for so many decades. I gave up on myself. I gave up on any hope of escape after a few lashes. Mal controls you in much the same way. I don't know how you could beat him, but I do know this. You must try. The half-life of a mind-addled slave is worse than death. Don't become his. Oh, shit. I... Did I do something wrong? Why? What's changed? That's what you want. Then that's where we'll leave it. Well, goodbye then, I suppose. You brought my dead heart back to life. It will keep beating. Oh shit. I. Did I do something wrong? Why? What's changed? <sighs> I may be guilty of a bit of embellishment here and there, but I'm no liar. When I vowed we'd save you, we will save you. This little adventure of ours has taught me that we can't let our lives be ruled by fear, or else we never really live. I'm not afraid. Not of you. Not of your darkness, and not of our future. Hmm. Cazador used his tortures to strike terror into me. 
But I've rarely been more afraid than on the night when I feared Baal had claimed you for good. But I trust you won't kill me. <laughs> and if you do, then I've gotten sloppy and probably have it coming. And beautiful. <sighs> None of people mention that. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere. If the shape changer wants Gortash dead, then let's kill Gortash and get Yenna back. Uh, not that I care, it's just that children have a habit of disappearing in the city. <clears throat> let's not let any more slip away. Paul himself has sentenced you to an eternity of madness. To be consumed by your urge. You'll never be free, will you? He's going to take over. I've had periods where I was so hungry, I was all but robbed of speech and reason. If you become as I fear, feral, Scrabbling, all but a carrion creature. I don't think I'll be able to look at you. It'll remind me too much of my worst self, if that is to be your fate. I will, um, enjoy our time together while it lasts. But soon enough, we'll have to say our goodbyes. Say no. The only thing she's offering is pain. And I, I, I don't want to see you hurt. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. <laughs> faces. Every one that shares my scar. They're my conquests. I pursue them, seduced them, and brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? One hundred and seventy years. You were one of my first. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. I'm not sure. I've been... Weighing my options. On the one hand, they're the key to my unlocking eternal power and freedom. On the other, well, it's my fault they're here. Yes, it was Cazador's command. I had no choice, but it seems now I do. I felt so very little for so long. My edges dulled over the numb years, rotting in the boudoir and kennels. Now, I can hear it at last. See it at last. How oh, all the lowly creatures of this plane are... There's 
Something I'd like to show you, if that's all right. Something out in the city. Something I haven't shown anyone else. Nearly 200 years, and I never came back. Not since the night I woke up down there. I had to punch a hole in the coffin and claw my way through six feet of dirt. Then when I finally broke the surface, retching up dirt and congealed blood, Casador was waiting. From that day on, I was his. Until today. Maybe. But he did take it. There's almost nothing left of the person I was. Just a name on a rock. For nearly two centuries, I stalked the streets like a ghost. The person I was lay here, dead and buried. Now I need to figure out who I am. What I want. You. I want. You. You were by my side through all of this. Through bloodlust and pain and misery. You were patient. You cared. You trusted me when that was an objectively stupid thing to do. I feel safe with you. Seen. And whatever the future holds for me, I don't want to lose that. Thank you. Well... I should probably fix this. I've been dead on the ground for long enough. It's time to try living again. With everything that life has to offer. If a night of passion is an offer, I could be persuaded. You know, I didn't care for you when we first met. But I do now. Being with you is about more than lust or manipulating you into a tactical alliance. I love you. I love this. And I want it all. wrong. Casador left his mark on me in more ways than one. 
For a moment, I wanted to be just like him. I came so close to losing everything back there. To losing myself. Back at the ritual, all I could see was the power on offer and the safety it promised. I was so blinded by it. <laughs> Just as Cazador was. But you saw something in me. Someone else I could be. Someone who could break the cycle of power and terror that started <laughs> centuries ago. You saved me back there. I may not have appreciated it at the time, but I do now. Thank you. <laughs> you did more than that. You believed in me. Believed I was enough. Just the way I am. <laughs> When I look at my future, anything and everything feels possible now. And I get to share it with you as a partner. And equal. You saved me from myself and let me walk a new path where I can be free. Truly, honestly, free. This is a gift, you know. Thank you. I won't forget it. I've been leading. For the first time, maybe ever, I've been thinking about people other than myself. There are thousands of vampires spawn in the Underdark. Lost souls I lured into the shadows. The least I could do was give them a place they'd be safe. So I've been building a haven down there. It's relatively small for now but growing every day as more and more spawn find us. How have our friends fared without us? I'm glad. It would be so easy to go through everything we did and come out the other side bitter and twisted. <laughs> but they deserve happiness. We all do. And I will forever be grateful to have found it with you. I'll be here when you're ready. I'll always be here, my love.